Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to my vlogmas. My name is Malena. I am a Danish knitter coming to you from the northern part of Denmark. Last couple of days I've forgotten this introduction. <laughs> but yes, I am a Danish knitter. Um, I live here in Alborg with my husband and our two girls and two cats that you have probably already seen and you probably will see a lot more. Um, I'm sitting here with my tea of the day. It is, I just checked and I already forgot. White Nepal. It's very good. I like it a lot. So yeah, it's been a crazy morning, you guys. And it's all because of you. Um, I got up and I was gonna check the vlogmas for to for yesterday that I had uploaded during the night and I wanted to, what's that called? Make it public. I think that's what it's called. I was uh, going to make it public and I went to my YouTube studio and oh my gosh, so many new subscribers. I, I'm at a loss for words. Thank you so much. And then I got a message from one of the ladies from my knitting group. And she was like, have you seen the finished knitting stories this morning? I'm like, no. She's mentioning you. And I'm like, what? And I was like all, I don't know, starstruck and everything. <laughs> like, oh, what? So thank you so much, Yana, for sending people over. And thank you guys for stopping by. I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I really, really appreciate you guys being here. If you weren't here, I couldn't do this. I mean, I'm doing it as like a diary for myself because it's fun to have. And actually, before I started this year, I was watching what I did last year. And it was so nice. Like, oh, yeah, we did that. and We did that. And yeah. So it's like two way street and both. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. It's crazy. But it makes me really, really happy. So thank you again. And I got so many kind questions and comments and it was just, yeah. And somebody was like, I am kind of curious about where that accent is from. <laughs> it's not as good as it was back when. But the reason that I sound like this is that I was a foreign exchange student in Superior, Wisconsin, back in the 90s, and I loved it so much. Um, America has always had a big place in my heart, and I've always known that I wanted to go there. I think I've said this before, but yeah. Just so, yeah, to answer, to answer the question. I still have my host family over there. They're not in Wisconsin anymore. I have a host sister in Minnesota, and my host mother is in Texas. My host father as well, but unfortunately he passed away this November. I was very sad to hear that. So, yeah. It's the ways of the world, but not always fun, right? So, yeah. But I am so lucky that I am still in contact with them. I haven't seen them since I saw my, my sister in 2019. She came to Denmark to visit. And I have not been to the States myself since 2019. And um, it's about, about time, you guys. I need, to, I need to go there. But you know, work, family, money, everything. So what I like to do is keep a little bit of my America in my heart and in my everyday life. So like when I find Reese's pieces, like you will have seen the other day, I go crazy and become very excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's silly, I know, but it's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the cat. She's very comfortable on the carpet right in front of me. Oh, stretching. Everybody wants to be a cat, right? Except for then I couldn't knit and I couldn't play the piano. So maybe I don't really want to be a cat. 
not not all day at least okay rambling sorry we still the snow is still on the ground we didn't get any more than so we still just have a tiny bit but the ground is still white and then if i look out my window i see the neighbor's roof and it is covered in snow it's wonderful i'll take you guys over there so you can see and then you can also see my hyacinth it's like blooming it's so beautiful i got hyacinth they're they're special in my family i think maybe for a lot of danes it's kind of like a christmasy flower i don't know maybe it's just my family but every december my parents would gift us girls i have two sisters um a hyacinth and um it will bloom and and just have a wonderful scent all through december and i've i've been gifted one ever since i was a child and also after i moved away from home but um not to be all sad and everything I'm, i apologize but we lost my father in 2016 and unfortunately this year my mother passed away just this august um so this is a special christmas for us it's of course it's filled with joy with the girls and everything but also sadness and um so i bought myself a hyacinth yes this year um and when it blooms i i'm sorry you guys it's making me a little sad so what I wanted to say before I got all teary-eyed, <laughs> yeah, is that when it blooms, it makes me feel like they're still here with me. So yeah. But today I am, of course, knitting. Tonight is another Christmas concert with my choir. Um, my friend Anna is going to come pick me up and we will go there. It's at a church in Ranas, which is a city about... 45 minute drive from where I live so we're gonna go there together and I can't wait for that she's my best friend and she's also a knitter and we do lots of music together uh, we're both educated um, music educators music music teachers and we do like kids concerts and, and write music together and stuff it's it's wonderful I love her so much she's gonna come pick me up and we will have lots of fun driving there and then there's the concert I will see how much footage I'm able to take, but at least I can show you the church and yeah. But today I'm working on this. I just ripped back because it's actually a design. Let me put this tee down so I can show you. I have it in here, my rock and roll knitter bag. Also from um, Deadly Daisies that I spoke about yesterday, if you wanna know more about her, um, she's linked on yesterday's video on in the description box. I've met this wonderful person through Instagram. Instagram. Her name is Karen. And uh, we connected and uh, we have talked and she's just lovely. And she's also a sock knitter. Her podcast is in Danish, but in case some of you Danish viewers are still keeping up with me. <laughs> Um, I will link her podcast below. It's very wonderful. She has some wonderful tutorials, tutorials as well. And we've been asked to do a sock design. There's a knitting festival here in Denmark on June 3rd of next year, Knitting in Denmark's Heart. Um, and they uh, have been so kind to ask Karin and I if we would do a sock design. And um, yeah, I've never designed anything, but it's just... I was so excited. I was like, yeah, let's do it. And especially since I can do it with Karen because she is just wonderful and amazing. So these are the colors that we have been sent to do the design. They are by the amazing Midnight Strike. She also did the yarn for my socks. So yeah, this is going good for me for my socks of the day yesterday. And we're like figuring out how to use these four colors. Uh, they're from their logo in a sock design. And I think we're just about there, actually. So I think I'm going to start my final version today. So I ripped back what I had, and now I'm starting on 
what we think is the final design. So, yeah. Yarn all over, just the way we like it. <laughs> but I will let you go for now. But I, uh, I'll check in later. Thank you again so very much for being here. And take care. Time for socks of the day. These are the amazing color palette socks. I love these so much because I get to use all kinds of scraps. They're by Laurel Knits. I will link her pattern, her pattern in uh, the description box down below. As you can see, I have done more than one pair. I thought that I had done another pair, but I couldn't find it, so maybe I gifted it, or maybe it's just in my imagination. <laughs> On the original pattern, the like main color that goes in between the, the scraps or the palettes, it has like a little structure thingy, but I saw on Instagram somebody who did it just with plain stockinette. And I think that's pretty cool too, so I did a pair with that. I've worn these a lot because I think they're so festive. Yeah. I think, I'm not sure, I think in her pattern it is a heel flap and gusset. On these ones I have a shadow wrap heel. In case you guys want to check it out, I will link a tutorial for that down below. Socks of the day.